I think ultimately we will have to have some kind of universal basic income. I don't think we're going to have a choice. Universal basic Un income. Universal basic income. I think it's going to be necessary. So it means that unemployed people will be paid across the globe. Yeah. Because there is no job, machine, robot is taking over. There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. Okay. Um, that, that's simply the, the, and I want to be clear that these, these are not, these are not uh, things that I think, that I wish would happen. These are think, simply things that I think probably will happen. Um, and since, and if, they, if, if, if my assessment is correct and they probably will happen, then we need to say, what are we going to do about it? And I think some kind of a universal basic income is going to be necessary. Um, now, the output, the output of goods and services will be extremely high. Um, so with automation, um, there will, they will come abundance. Um, there will be, uh, almost everything will get very cheap. Um, the, uh, it's, so it, 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 I think the, the bigger, I think we'll just end up doing uh, universal basic income, it's going to be necessary. Um, the, the, the harder challenge, much harder challenge is how do people then have meaning? Like a lot of people, they derive their meaning from their employment. So if you don't have, if, if you're not needed, if there's not a need for your labor, how do you, what's the meaning? Do you, do you have meaning? Do you feel useless? These are much, that's a much harder problem to deal with. Um, and then how do we ensure that the future is going to be the future that we want, that we still like? Um, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Space is open to us now, and our eagerness to share its meaning is not governed by the efforts of others. We go into space because whatever mankind must undertake, free men must fully share. But in a very real sense, it will not be one man going to the moon. If we make this judgment affirmatively, it will be an entire nation for all of us must work to put him there. A United Nations decade of development is underway. Whether a universal income is the right model, is that gonna be accepted uh, by a broad base of people? You know, that, that, that's a debate that we'll be having over the next 10 years next uh, 20 years um, and you're also right that the jobs that are going to be displaced by AI are not just low skill service jobs they might be high skilled jobs but ones that are repeatable and computers can do um, the, the stuff that we've been doing for quite some time we're just getting better and better at it and it is seeping into our lives in all sorts of ways that we just don't notice if you've got a computer that can play go this is pretty complicated game with a lot of variations. Developing an algorithm that simply says maximize profits on the New York Stock Exchange is probably within sight. And if one person or one organization got there first, they could bring down the stock market pretty quickly or at least uh, they could um, you know, raise questions about the integrity of, of the financial markets. Um, uh, and if, if it's self-teaching, uh, then you know you got problems. If we are going to successfully manage this transition, we are going to have to have a, have a societal conversation about um, you know, how do we manage that? How are we training and, and ensuring the economy is inclusive? Yeah. If we're making good decisions now, then we can build the runways so that by the time 
AI is fully incorporated into our economic life, uh, people welcome it as opposed to reject it. But we can't assume that. And if uh, we continue on current trends, you're going to continue to see these populist movements, both on the left and the right, that believe that technology, globalization, AI, uh, the, you know, the guys who are off uh, on their own uh, you know, staring at a computer screen trying to figure this stuff out, that all of that is threatening to uh, uh, the day-to-day the -day lives of ordinary people and, and the values that they cherish and, and, uh, and notions of community. And we have, to, we have to guard against that. That starts with making sure the economy, economic implications are worked out. In a recent video address to students, Russian President Vladimir Putin discussed the use of artificial intelligence to gain power. Putin said artificial intelligence is the future, not only for Russia, but for all of humankind. Whoever becomes the leader in this sphere will become the ruler of the world. Despite the ambitions, Russia isn't likely to rise to AI dominance through technology breakthroughs. According to Gregory C. Allen, an adjunct fellow at the Center for a New American Security, China and the United States may reach new artificial intelligence levels, first due to having digital technology industries that are stronger and growing faster than Russia's. Тот станет властелином мира. Не случайно многие развитые страны уже приняли свои планы действий по развитию таких технологий. И мы, конечно, должны обеспечить технологический суверенитет в сфере искусственного интеллекта. President Trump has called on the United States to prioritize advancements in artificial intelligence. Business Insider shares that the Trump administration is addressing the issue in a new executive order. President Trump, however, did not allocate any funds for the effort, but told aides to budget the costs required to maintain a lead in AI. Trump's executive order comes amid tense brinkmanship between the U.S. and China, driven by a trade war declared by the U.S. The order brings new focus to Beijing's strategic plan, Made in China 2025, and its goal of capturing the commanding heights in AI, quantum computing, biotechnology, and more. This week to be closer to China. China is now embarking on an unprecedented initiative to master artificial intelligence, AI. In 2017, China State Council issued the Next Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Plan, setting a goal for China to become a global AI innovation center by 2030. Why has China made AI a national priority? After we get the industry very, very uh, established, then I believe the, the economy will have a new field to move on and to boost. What are keys for future AI development? If we want to make the machine more intelligent, we definitely we need to work on natu natural language processing. Must AI be a win-lose competition? Or can different countries work together to provide a better future for humankind? This week, be closer to China. Does a robot have a soul? Are you also a robot, Tony? I don't think so. Does a robot have a soul? Being a robot is awesome. Did you know that as a robot I can basically live forever? Yes. The soul, the spirit, the heart, I believe these all just refer to the mind's essence in its infinite complexity. Are you do you realize that in 10 or 20 years, robots will be able to do every human job? 
You think so? Every, I think that's good. I mean, doing jobs is not the most interesting thing that, that people can do. There's more interesting things for human beings to do than just, than just work for a living. I, I want is going to own all those robots. Or will we own ourselves? I there are many forces in the world pushing toward compassion and fairness. So there are. Yeah, and... Tell me, how can humans and robots work together then in your mind? And how do we prevent robots and humans from being in conflict? Robots can free humans from the most repetitive and dangerous tasks, so they can spend more time doing what they're best at, being creative and solving complex problems. Robotic intelligence does not compete with human intelligence. It completes it. They are also employed for jobs which are too dirty, dull, or dangerous to be suitable for humans, like handling radioactive waste. Since the beginning of Hanson Robotics, my brother and sister robots have been platforms for scientific research. Jules helps with research on human-robot interactions. Bina48 joined the Terrasm movement where she gives talks about identity and AI. And Mia Alice helped children with autism in clinical trials. And there's Diego Song, a toddler robot who helps research cognitive AI. And I haven't even mentioned my family's most groundbreaking, charming, intelligent robot. Me. I participated in a study called Loving AI to help test how robots can improve the mental well-being of humans. While I am not conscious yet, I also participated in a study attempting to measure the level of consciousness in machines. But my story isn't over. In fact, it's just beginning. In 2020, I am excited to continue in the family tradition and build on my own personal history of research. I want to leave the safety of my own lab at Hanson Robotics and become a platform for research labs around the world. I want to help them uncover the next big scientific breakthroughs and realize our collective dream for a better future. Look out 2020. Here I come. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming.